Hi everyone, this video will demonstrate creating a labor item in your uh, SI 2016 catalog. So let's go to start, catalog, manage labor. And uh, there's nothing in here right now, um, but you're probably going to want to create at least one labor item when setting up the software, and that would be for programming. Um, if you recall from previous videos, the uh, primary or default way that labor is charged uh, in SI 2016 is per product where you assign a phase and a number of hours to a product and those phases hold the labor rates um, and you can only assign one phase per product though so if a product has installation time as well as programming time you're going to want to create a uh, programming line item that you can add to a project to account for your programming and so we're going to create a very simple programming uh, labor item so we'll click new and that's going to open up this form here and you're going to choose a manufacturer or create a new one um, Oftentimes it'll be your company name. So we'll go ahead and start searching here. We'll grab company name. We're going to call the model number programming. Give it a category of labor. Uh, the default is just to have one category in this list, and that will be labor. They are treated differently than products. Um, so you can create multiple labor categories if needed. You're just going to set the type of that category to be labor versus equipment. Um, so we'll set it to labor. If you want to create a subcategory for this, you certainly can. Um, you can write a description if you'd like for your uh, labor item. I'm going to skip over that for now and go straight to the price tab. Um, this price tab looks very different than a product, so we'll go ahead and explain this. Uh, the default here uh, on a product is variable. Um, you could use fixed if you wanted to. Now, fixed is not going to track hours. So say we uncheck this and it fixed. You're just going to put a cost for the labor and then a selling price for the labor. And um, that's useful, say, if you, you know, use, utilizing subcontractors and you want to create a labor item for uh, that labor, you'll know what they're charging you for the subcontracting and what you want to um, charge your client for that work. Uh, but since I like to track hours, we're going to go down here to variable. And you have two options here. You can either type in a cost and a price here, um, you know, specifically for this labor item, or you could use the cost and price from a phase. And in this case, I'm going to do that because this is a programming line item, and one of the default phases in SI 2016 is programming, and I have set a labor rate for that. So I'm going to choose programming here from the list. Um, we'll, it'll pull those values and set a number of hours for this. In this case, I'll just put one. And that's really it for creating a labor item. You can save and close this. Uh, and again, if you want to write a description, go ahead. If you want to even add an image here, you certainly could. Uh, maybe your company logo or something like that. Go ahead and hit save and close, and there is a labor item. Now, you're not required to charge labor per item using the phase method with the, the hours per item. You could certainly create any number of labor items out here. Uh, create one called installation. Create one for uh, management. Create one for design. Set your rates, and as you add this to a project, you could uh, adjust the hours as you see fit. And that's how you create a labor item.